YouTube, it's your boy DJ BG Vlog Gang gang If you're new to my channel, go down No, over here Yeah, go down right now and subscribe to my channel You know, we at 2.74k subscribers and counting And we about to go more further than that For this year, 2020, we about to go epic We about to post bangers But today's segment is totally different So today our segment is How to be ready for a job interview I know a lot of time a lot of people are scared To go to an interview You guys sometimes feel like what if I say something and I mess up? What if the number two? When you prepare for an interview, always look for something that's very formal, something more business attire type. Like you can't walk into a company for an interview and you dress like you just came from a party. You can walk into an interview and they dress like you just wake up. When you get that day that you have an interview, make sure you get your hair done. I mean, my hair is already fixed, guys. Um, I braided my own hair. Mother Nina you know, helped braid my hair. So, make sure that you had a clean shave if you're a guy. If you're a girl, I know you guys know how to groom. You guys have been doing this your entire lives. And that's easy for you guys. So, make sure you're always up to a dress code standard. You're very formal, business attire, preferably. You go to the interview dressed like you ready for the job. No employer is gonna deny somebody who has the untest un the how should I put it? The well visible attire that shows them that you want this business. You want to be a part of something so immaculate. You wanna be a part of some journey that builds character when your dress code is so good your employer is more impressed versus if you just come in dressed like a normal day coming for an interview and expecting them to be like oh you you, you got swag you you look on fleek no no job is going to tell you that so the point of the matter is when you dress in a business attire, they see that you want this job. They see that you would do any well, I would say anything because a lot of people a lot of employees are kinda weird. Like but they see that you want this job so bad that you make the effort to become presentable for that interview. And a lot of employees like that. And it's not hard being dressed up. You can wear a shirt, um and a tie or you can wear a tie shirt jacket whatever you want ladies you can wear business attire you can wear um i don't know how much what ladies wear a lot but you know business attire dress code is always important for an interview never forget that a lot of people forget that business attire versus business wear uh, like outside wear is two different things always be prepared and dress formal just modest. Last but not least, number three. Always thank your employer for that interview. It doesn't matter whether you think the interview went well or went bad. Always thank your employer for considering you. Thank them for making the time out to come and talk to you about that position. Thank them. Thank them. Always thank them for being um, courteous enough to say hey do we have a job opening and we saw your application and we would like to talk to you before we can consider putting you on our team you know when you get there first off be like um thank you whatever his name mrs smith or mrs smith thank you mr or mrs smith for considering me for this position i really appreciate coming here and talking to you guys and getting my interview in and i hope that whatever questions you ask my answers will be equivalent to your um, expectations. You know, simple like that. It's not difficult, it's not hard. But all you remember to thank the employer who picked your name. There could be 50 candidates, but they choose to pick your name and they choose to call you for an interview. So all you remember to be thankful, be polite, because they want to make sure that the person they hire in it's gonna be polite to the customers. They're gonna be polite to the first person who walks through the door. 
they want to make sure that they are not hiring somebody who isn't up to the standard of customer service you know that's the big deal in a business man so that's the end of this video guys if you like it if you appreciate the advice i gave you guys for your next interview i know you guys will nail it gang gang you guys are gonna have that employer in the palm of your hand bro it's gonna go well it's gonna go awesome it's all love you know you feel me so i hope you guys have a wonderful day stay, stay blessed stay happy you know and go out and get that job bro you gotta wait for nothing you take a stand p.s one thing employers like is when you send an application and you call them non-stop asking about the status of your application doesn't matter if you call them today and they say they have nothing yet call it tomorrow and be like hey my name is john and i apply for position and i'm still wondering um, is my application still there you know just do what you gotta do bro like it's not difficult but it's how it is it's a boy dj biggie we out